Hello everyone, today I share with you the smoothie I make when I go to work and it works really well. It's a very energetic, it's a lot of stuff in it and it really helps me almost all day so I'm not hungry and, and I don't have to eat a lot. So um, this is easy and it's really um, rich what I'm, what I'm making today. So I started to use kale, the, either the curly kale. I, so if you use curly or I, I have finished that one, so all I have is the, I can't even remember what it's called, I think black kale or calero kale or something. Um, what you do, you strip the kale, you, you don't use the hard stem because that would be too, too heavy. So um, what I did, I just took out the stem. The stem, I keep them uh, and make a juice. If I make a juice, I just put them in there and juice them. So, and I use quite a lot of kale. Um, because the more kale or any green, really dark leafy green, either spinach or kale, uh, is, is very good. The more you put in, the better, the better, the longer it will satisfy you. So, you, you probably need, if you use kale, you probably need um, a strong blender. So I'm using a Vitamix, but you can try it with any other blender. You maybe have to blend a little bit longer. So what I have here, I, I use purified water in this video. Uh, because I was reading the other day, distilled water is very detoxifying your body because it has uh, it has no particles in so because it's quite pure it can go into your body and absorb all the uh, toxins in your body and flush it out and I have been noticing uh, that my kidneys are filtering a lot better it's up to it there is a video um, on YouTube distilled water I think it's Andrew Weber uh, his name he really is really good so I would, would watch that so what I do have here is this um, purified water. It's not the sealed water because I tried to buy it but you can't get it. So, and I do make quite a lot. So I, I use all the water. You can use coconut water if you want or if you have. So what I do, um, because the kale takes a bit longer to blend, I blend the kale first before I add the fruits because the fruits don't take that long. So you add the kale and what you can do if you want it a bit sweeter, you add a few medjool dates if you want. So you can add one or two medjool dates to it. And because the medjool dates should blend a bit longer as well, I would add them to this kale or spinach, whatever. Spinach doesn't take that long to blend, but if you use kale, um, I would blend it like this. So. Now, we need to blend this for because it's really sturdy, really hard. So soak it for a little bit in water and then, so that's, that's the green so far. And next, I am using chia seeds. So you put in your, usually you soak the chia seeds, but what I did with my smoothies, because I couldn't be bothered with soaking them and maybe I forgot sometimes, and that doesn't stop me to, to use them anyway, even if I forgot to, to juice them, so uh, to, to soak them. What I did lately, I blended them, so it's, and I don't know which which is better to, how they are better, if you use them whole, soaked, if, how they are more de detoxifying, but I think if you blend them, I think they are even more detoxing. So I that's what I did lately and it feels really good, the digestion is good, and if they go just a few seconds in the blender. And they will make gradually the smoothie thicker during uh, along the day during the day. 
Okay, so the chia seeds. Then what I use, I use frozen blueberries and frozen cherries because the fruit is getting a bit, there's not much fruit available. What I do buy, I buy lots of bananas. I let them ripen very well because bananas are the stable for the basic for this smoothie. So I put frozen cherries and frozen blueberries. For some reason, um, <laughs> frozen cherries and blueberries are very good for me. I don't know, it's just um, very soothing. It's okay. And it, it, in a Vitamix, you can put the frozen fruit frozen out of the freezer, it doesn't matter because the Vitamix will, will blend it. Then I add three bananas, two or three bananas, depends. In this one, <laughs> in this one I add three. I have a bit more water than I maybe should have. Okay. Blend. I have this jar, there used to be superfood in it, it's not anymore, it's empty. <laughs> My next green superfood is this one, Amazing Grass, I thought I'd try something else, it was a bit cheaper I think, um, it has probiotics in it and it's raw, so it's, it's good, I, I'm quite happy with it, green superfood, so sometimes I add even this, another teaspoon to this because you, you, when you go to work you really want to have a rich so you're not hungry and it lasts this lasts me all day and I don't need to eat maybe I eat one apple for lunch or maybe I have a banana if I but usually with the chia seeds in it I don't eat anything until evening and then I have a meal in the evening so I I would add one teaspoon of this you can add um, Chlorella. You can add a bit of spirulina if you want. What I do, I add a little bit of uh, cinnamon just to keep the blood sugar balanced and to have a nice, a nice aroma. Then I add maca powder. Not too much. I just add a, few, a little bit. Just a maybe a small teaspoon. Maca powder is very balancing for hormones, especially if if you maybe don't have a good time at the moment or you're not feeling too well or something is going on emotionally. So um, this is balancing, keeps me keeps me stable, grounded. What you add, can add as well is wheatgrass. The more greens you add, the better is the, it is. So the less you're probably um, hungry. And um, with the maca, I know I said I don't use a lot of cacao, but lately I have been adding, I use cacao like, like a herb, really, like a, not very much. I use, if I use, I use just a um, knife, uh, well, maybe one quarter teaspoon very very small amount but if you like cacao you can use a bit more I just don't want it to weaken my adrenals and you know you, cacao can bring you up and then you, you feel the down when you come down again and it can make you low or depressed after a while so uh, I wouldn't use too much and that's what I do because I I said I'm not using cacao uh, but this is organic cacao powder and I didn't know what to do with it so I thought I might as well just use it and in combination with maca it has a very they like each other and they bring 
they give you really uh, energy and so be careful with the cacao not too much and it's fine so and then to mix this to stir this up I just blend it again a little bit I mean, I'm quite happy with the Vitamix. I first I thought, oh well, it's just a blender and it's nothing because I have another one as well. I bought first another one, and um, but I I'm, I'm quite happy with the with the Vitamix and I wouldn't give it away. I know everybody says that, and at first I thought, oh, what's the big fuss? It's expensive, very expensive, but um, yeah, I, I I wouldn't wouldn't want to have it without now because it's so fast and so. This is the smoothie, and I don't even need to try it because it is sweet. If you can, as I said, if you add the dates, it's you can't go wrong. And the green, you won't taste it. So, and because uh, it has a, a purplish color in the beginning, but it will go a bit darker during the day because it will oxidize a little bit. You can add a few uh, sprinkles of lemon uh, to it, keeps it a little bit fresher. Um, and what I did, I, I, kept, I kept this brown glass from this and this is really a very, very good trick because I used to go to work and take my smoothie in a glass like this and because the color is the way it is and people who don't know these things, they would just, you know, they would just abuse you or say, oh my god, what are you drinking? And because you don't want to explain yourself all the time and justify what you're doing, you just have to find a solution and you use this, a brown glass. Find somewhere a brown glass and if you can't find a brown glass, order something where, where, where there is a brown glass or go in the supermarket and find a brown glass. This is quite, I think it's almost a liter in here. And what I do, I just pour it in here and no one can see what I'm drinking. And then I have a straw. I cut the straw and I leave the straw inside and um, and it's easy whenever I need even if I don't have a break I can and I'm hungry I quickly go sip a little bit and it's amazing so you just can you see <laughs> you just close it this way and that's my thing for the whole day now what what I do, I put a few bee pollen on top as well. They will dissolve after a while. Bee pollen are very good. They recommend one teaspoon a day. And it has um, lots of things in it. Uh, vitamin A, B19, B2, 3, 5, 6, B12, folic acid. Uh, pollen contains all the amino acids. So this is obviously a very good thing thing to have for skin and hair and, and nails and so I started I the first time I tried bee pollen I, I hated them I didn't like them but because they are so good for you I, I bought them again and I bought better ones these are wild crafted bee pollen and um, yeah so I, I usually add a few of these just on on top just like that and that is an amazing power drink this is energy pure and this this will last you a long time and you, and if you you want to go for number um, you want to be safe and sure you have enough food take a few two or three dates with you put them in a little box and take them in case you're hungry. Dates are very high in fiber and they they will help you out if you really feel like really hungry. You have one day then and it's fine. Or take put one or two bananas more in your bag or an apple or figs. I used to take figs. Um, three or four figs. Very good. And that was it. That lasts me a whole day. So um, yeah, what else? You can take a few nuts, a few Brazil nuts or um, pine nuts or macadamia nuts, just 
a small amount and that should be fine and it really helps me not to have the stress to chew at lunch because there's never time enough to chew a salad uh, and maybe you're, you're, you don't have a proper lunch and you're stressed and it's not good to eat with and you don't chew enough this is the best thing for me and no bloating no um, it's, it's, it's brilliant yes so that was it if you have a question please ask me <laughs> um, leave a comment subscribe if you want give me a thumbs up and um, yeah if I can I answer and I wish you a good day and See you very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.